In this tutorial I will take you through all the steps necessary to create this cute carrot scene in Blender. I'll go through every stage slowly so your result will be similar to mine. If you happen to run into any problems while following this tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to help you out. Shift A and add a cube. Go into edit mode with tab and go into face select by hitting 3 on your keyboard. Select the top face, press G and Z to move it up a tiny bit. Press E to extrude and then S to scale it down. Press I to inset and then press G and Z and move it down a tiny bit. Select the bottom face and scale it down. And now with Ctrl R add two loop cuts. Press right click on your mouse to confirm. Then press Ctrl B to bevel and use your scroll wheel to add third bevel line. Confirm, go into Edge Select and select the middle loops. Press S and Shift Z to scale them down. Leave Edit Mode and press Ctrl 3 to add a subdivision. Press right click and Shade Auto Smooth. Here we can adjust the sizing a tiny bit, so maybe go into Edit Mode, press A, press S and Z to make it a bit smaller. A bit more chunky, something like that. Go back into edit mode, go to face select and select the top face. Press shift S and cursor to select it. Leave edit mode and now add another cube. Scale the cube down and select the top face. Press G and Z and move it up. Add a loop cut with control R move it up a bit and press S to scale. Leave edit mode and press Ctrl 3 to add a subdivision. Press right click and shade auto smooth. Now press R and X and rotate it a bit. Around 30, 35 degrees, whatever you like. And now with this object selected, press Alt D, R, Z and 120 to make a linked duplicate and to rotate it. Now press Shift R to redo your latest action. And yeah, I kind of like how that looks. Maybe move these a tiny bit down. Scale them up a tiny bit. And move them up a tiny bit. Yeah, something like that. Now go into front view. Press Shift C to reset your 3D cursor and press Shift A and add a camera. Go into your camera view, press G and Z twice and move your camera backwards to something like that. Then go into your output settings here on the right and change your resolution to 1920 by 1920. Now select the carrot and press R twice so you can rotate it however you want and then maybe we rotate it something like this then press G and let's place it somewhere here maybe scale it up a tiny bit something like that then press Alt D to make a linked duplicate maybe scale it down a tiny bit press R twice again place it somewhere there and then Alt D once again move it down Maybe scale it down a bit as well. And then we can make one more rotation with pressing R twice. And I'm not sure, maybe something like that. Move them a around a bit until you have a composition that you like. Something like that. Okay, then we can leave the camera view and then maybe move this one back a tiny bit by pressing G and Y. Selecting this one, pressing G and Y, move it forward a tiny bit. Then we add a plane, and then R, X, 90 to rotate it, then G and Y to move it all the way back. Then we go back into camera view, and then we scale it so it covers our whole camera view. We'll be using this as a background. Something like that. That looks pretty good, okay. Then we press Z and we go into our rendered mode. And we will be adding the lights. So 
press shift a light and we add an area light press g and z to move it up maybe somewhere that a yellow dot is a bit outside of your camera go into your light settings and then we'll increase it maybe to something like 1500 and then move it so it starts somewhere there that looks pretty decent and then maybe we make the color a tiny bit orange something like that now we'll press the period key and change our pivot point to a 3d cursor select the light we already have then we press shift d r x maybe something like 60 minus to start off with and then we can maybe press R and Z and rotate it. Maybe we want the light to come from this side. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Press G and Z twice so you can change the distance and play around a bit with it until you're satisfied. Something like that maybe. <clears throat> then we duplicate our first light again by pressing shift G and then G and Y and then we move it backwards and we change our pivot point back to median point press R and X and then we aim it at the background and G and Z and move it down a tiny bit like that yeah that looks pretty good now let's add some colors to our carrot so we start with the background Go to the material settings, add a new material, name it background, and let's give this a nice orange color. Here's the hex code if you want to copy it. There we go. Then we select the carrot, add a new material, and name this material orange and give it an orange color like that and then we have the green which we'll add a new material for name it green and we'll add the hex color you can use your own colors of course something like that and then maybe we select this background lamp and we make it a bit more yellow and we get some kind of nice gradient something like that then we'll go to our render settings change the render engine to cycles device to gpu compute now let's change the viewport samples and our render samples to 512 and then all the way down here in color management we want to change our look to medium high contrast really like the look of that then we'll go into our world settings and change the color here as well to something a bit lighter like that and it looks pretty done but i do want to make this light a tiny bit more yellow i think and maybe a tiny bit stronger let's make it 1750 give it a tiny bit of a background gradient like that and that's basically it. I really hope you enjoyed it. If anything was unclear or you have any other questions or requests, please let me know in the comment section. If you decide to post your artwork on Instagram, tag me in it since I'd love to see your work. And now that you know how to create this cute simple scene, you should try and use what you've learned and see what other things you can come up with. This is the best way to get better and learn. If you had a good time watching this, consider supporting the channel by subscribing and liking the video. Thank you for watching and good luck!